next Here, little guy. I didn't see you. Do you live here at this site? Yeah. Well, it's nice to meet you. Oh, uh, it's nice to meet you. Aren't you cute? Are you lost or no? Did they just let you roam around here? Yeah. Well, we can't say I've heard of you or seen you yet. <laughs> You're very cute. <laughs> oh, you have these cute little gestures. Do you have a voice or... Oh, no. Sunshine. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think I'm your case manager, but I don't see anybody else around here. <laughs> oh, aren't you just so precious? Well, I suppose I could look you up and see who your case manager is. Let's see if I can get some service here on my work phone. Okay. Oh, no. It's just my luck. There's never any service in this building. I'm trying to pull up the database here. Alright. Small. Any bear like SCP. Oh, it's just not loading. Well, I suppose I could just take a quick little peek at you and look you up later. <laughs> Do you mind? We'll make it quick. I was on my way to my next appointment, but you're just too darn cute to pass out. Starting audio log uh, number four unknown. This is Dr. Smith, and I have encountered a cute little teddy bear like creature. Here in the hallway of site 24. I was unable to pull up service to our database to retrieve SCP's credentials, but this is a audio reminder to look it up later. Alright. Do you know who your case manager is? No? <laughs> Maybe they haven't assigned you a new one yet. I know it kind of happens fairly quickly around here. Yeah, well, like I said, I'm Dr. Smith. If all goes well, maybe I can look into getting your case assigned to me. Okay? <laughs> good, good. It would be nice to have more cute ones like you. Alright, I'm just gonna put on these gloves real fast. You don't have any allergies to vinyl or latex, do you? No, I didn't think so. But, I'm just checking. So, do 
you mind if I just feel around your face real quick? No? Okay. <laughs> nice and soft. Oh, you remind me of a teddy bear I had. Are my audio notes. The bear is quite plush. Nice fur. Cute little buttons for the eyes and nose. Does that tickle? <laughs> tickle, 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 tickle. Oh, you're just so cute, aren't you? Cute little black ears and brown fur. Okay. Good. Cute little plump belly <laughs> that seems to like it when I rub it. And legs. SCP does seem to be made of normal teddy bear legs. Materials does seem to be stuffed. Quite interesting. I would like to look up your case file. See if we've gotten a sample in the past in your overall composite. And how you're able to move around and be sentient. Yeah. <laughs> and why you're so darn charming. <laughs> so cute. Alright. Do you mind if I take a quick little peek at your eyes? Yeah? I have a pen right here. And I'm just going to shine into your little black eyes, okay? <laughs> okay. Here we go. So, for the audio notes, I'm not seeing any iris, pupil, refraction. Just seems to be your standard black button eyes. Okay, yeah, let's see. I'm gonna swing the light from eye to eye here. You're not feeling any discomfort or anything like that? No? Okay. Where were you headed? Mm -hmm. Just out and about. Oh, you're collecting little trinkets? What are you making with it? Oh, it's okay. You don't have to tell me. You just got a little treasure trove of trinkets. Okay. Do you mind playing a little game with me? Yeah? Alright. I just want you to follow my little light here with your eyes, okay? Alright. Here we go. So SCP was able to find 
follow the light though since there is no indication of pupil, iris, chorea they did have to turn their little teddy bear body to follow but they were cognizant enough to stay in contact Do you mind if I take a quick listen to your chest here? <laughs> yes. Or will you mind down a little heartbeat? Yeah, I just want to hear what's inside that cute little stuffing plush body. Is that okay with you? Silly question, right? Just stay still for me. And I'm just going to listen here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You truly are very interesting. For my audio log, I did not hear any signs of a respiratory track or any signs of a heartbeat or anything like that. I would like to look into further on the case logs if I can find them about what makes this cute little SCP Do you mind if I take a quick little peek into your ear? Okay. I have this right here. I'm just going to lean in here. And since you can't really repeat back to me, just shake your head if you can hear me. Two. Ears on SCP look normal if it has been like any teddy bear you would see. Nothing out of the ordinary. Um, they were able to hear every number I said in their ears. So, going to test tuning fork. Alright, little guy, I have a tuning fork right here. Just going to give it a little whack. Hold it up to your ears and you just tell me when it stops. Okay. Good. Then you can't really close your eyes. It's okay. Here we go. Good. 
SCP was able to hear and respond to the tuning for just fine. Lastly, there, little guy, because as much as I like spending time with you, I do have to get going. I'd like to just test your reflexes and then get some measurements, okay? Okay. I'm gonna have to get a little close. Do you care again? Alright. Go ahead and try to turn your head for me, but I'm going to try to keep you from doing that. Here we go. Good muscles. Alright, I'm going to push down on your shoulders and you shrug up. Wow, you're strong for your size. Okay. Do you mind if I take a quick peek in your mouth? Just say, uh, oh. Oh, I'm sorry, that's right, your mouth is. So shut. Not a problem. Not a problem. Let's just get to those measurements real quick. You really just want to get your height, so hold still here. Okay. And it looks like it's about thirty. Three meters, yes. About thirty-three meters. Okay, and the shoulders, yeah. Good. Good. Let me just write that down so I don't forget. My phone just went off. I must have got service again really quick. Let's see if I can locate you, little guy. Okay. It says here. Here we go. So you are SCP 104A. Is that right? All right. For audio log, this is. SCP-1048 It says here, a small teddy bear, approximately 33 in height, so I was right there Through testing, composition of the subject revealed no unusual qualities that make it discernible from a non-sapient teddy bear Subject is capable of moving on its own accord and can communicate through a small range of gestures Subject regularly shows affection to the individuals 
and is found endearing by most people. All that we already know. And let's see. Attempts at direct communication are considered successful. The more anomalous behavior of SCP-1048 was not observed until approximately seven months after it was originally secured. It is hypothesized that the subject is able to construct crude replicas of itself using various materials. Oh my. Resulting in death of personnel. Whereabouts of 1048 are currently unknown, though it is still believed to be somewhere in Site 24. The subject is to be secured for containment, but any of its creations should be destroyed on site unless further evidence warrants less extreme action. To prevent any confusion or identities, any teddy bears must be reported to security team immediately. This is no joke. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is nothing. Um, no, not a problem at all. Uh, can I have some uh, assistance? Uh, this is Dr. Smith on site 24. I have to get uh, going to my next appointment. You just hold tight. I'll see you after. No, really, it's okay. You just go back to collecting your trinkets. Uh, I'll be right back.